What is a computer? A computer is a device that can be instructed to carry out arbitrary sequences of arithmetic or logical operations automatically. The ability of computers to follow generalized set of operations called programs enables them to perform an extremely wide range of tasks. A computer as we know it today has its beginning with a 19th century English mathematics professor named called Charles Babbage. Let's look into the generation of computers. Generally speaking, computers can be classified into three generations. The first generation computers from 1937 to 1946, the second generation from 1947 to 62, the third generation from 1963 to present times. Well, let's look into how the first generation computer worked. Well, in 1937, the first electronic digital computer was built by Dr. John V. Atnasoff and Clifford Berry. It was called the Atnasoff Berry Computer, simply ABC. In 1943, an electronic computer named the Colossus was built for the military. It is said that this computer weighed around 30 tons and had 18,000 vacuum tubes which was used for processing. When this computer was turned on for the first time, lights dim in sections of Philadelphia. Computers of this generation could only perform single tasks and they had no operating system. Well, let's look into the second generation. This generation of computers used transistors instead of vacuum tubes, which were more reliable. In 1951, the first computer for commercial use was introduced to the public. In 1953, the International Business Machine IBM 650 and 700 series computer made their mark in the computer world. During this generation of computers, over 100 programming languages were developed. Computers had memory and operating systems. Storage media such as tape and disk were in use. Also, web printers for output. Finally, the third generation computers. The invention of integrated circuit brought us the third generation of computers with a smaller form factor. With this invention, computers became smaller, more powerful, more reliable, and they are able to run many different programs at the same time. In 1980, Microsoft Disk Operating System, the famous MS-DOS, was born. In 1981, IBM introduced the personal computer now we call it as PC for home and office use. Three years later, Apple gave us Macintosh computer with its icon driven interface and the 90s gave us Windows operating system. The modern computer has a minimum set of parts to be useful. The base unit or the tower is the main part of the computer. A mouse and keyboard are used for input. A monitor is needed to view the output. Inside the base unit or tower, there are many electronic parts. The main parts are the motherboard, CPU, central processing unit, the hard disk and memory. Floppy drives, CD-ROM, abbreviated as compact disk read-only memory. Drives are used for storing information on removable disks. Modern computers have variable sockets called ports. The most common ports are known as USB. They called Universal Serial Bus Ports.